Kevin back at y'all, man, taking another trip down memory lane, you know, man, sorry, been busy, and, um, but yeah, man, I want to check out another throwback game and go back in time and try to, you know, dispel some of these narratives, um, as y'all saw about a little intro, Scotty Pippen disappearing in these four quarters of these big games. So, uh, Chicago's, we know they lost game five, back on the road, Phoenix for game six, and uh, I'll go back down memory lane, one of the NBA's greatest games, you know what I mean? So, this is the intro, you see, uh, it's a hot day in Phoenix, it's going to be a hot day in the arena, the Bulls go for their three-peat, and I'm um, just going to spell some narratives. Now, I want y'all to look at this. You know, I always speak about the heavy load that Michael Jordan had to carry. And looking at these scoring numbers, this is what he put up during his historic 1993 NBA Finals. 31 points, 42, 44, 55, and 41. And later on in this video, it's going to show the percentage of the offensive scoring bird that Michael Jordan had to carry. And, you know, as the previous video I showed y'all against the Knicks, Michael Jordan had to carry a very, very heavy load, a heavy load, you know, dealing with the Chicago Bulls. You know, people think he had super teams and all that type of stuff. Nah, that wasn't the case. So let's have some fun. Let's look at this game here, a throwback. And I've uh, got the jump ball, you know, the intro, getting ready. And um, here we go. Now, I will say this. On this particular game, Michael Jordan came out different from the previous game that I showed last game against the Knicks. Y'all haven't seen it. Go back down the timeline, check it out. Michael Jordan came out facilitating. This game, he came out more aggressive scoring because of the loss that they had. He wanted to put his teammates at ease, and he came out more aggressive. So let's go. All right, first play, Scotty Pippen. Oh, man, turnover, man. All right, next possession, got Michael Jordan coming down. Mid-range jumper, good. All right, starting out strong, feeling good. Next possession there, we got Scotty Pippen. Uh, what's he going to do, man? Nice pass to BJ. Wow, good. Now, you see with Michael Jordan, got his teammates going. Uh, nice pass by Pippen for the three. Kind of put the team at ease. You know, the Bulls, they have been there, done that. So, even though they had a bad loss, they were ready to go. Jordan for deep, wow. He on fire, man. He ready. He ready to lead the charge. Nice three-point. Next possession here. Jordan looking for Pippen. Oh, no good. Now, when I was watching this game, what I noticed about Scottie Pippen, Scottie Pippen was not confident in this jump shot. I don't know what was going on at that time, but he was not confident. And as the video goes on, you'll see. That's another jump shot. Now, he did make that one. That was a nice play. Nice play of Pippen. BJ. Oh, he almost fumbled. Go out to Jordan. Wow. Jordan on fire. Let's see, people. You hear these narratives about Michael Jordan couldn't shoot. He couldn't shoot threes in today's game. Well, we watching here. Michael Jordan could shoot. Just back in that day and time, they didn't shoot a lot of three-pointers. But... 
But Michael Jordan did shoot him in volume. He shot it at a good percentage. All right, he rolling, he leading the charge, trying to make his team feel comfortable. Oh, nice defensive play there by Pippen. All right, it's Pippen surveying. Nice pass out to BJ. BJ got a wide open shot. Let's see what he's going to do. Wow. All right. Team coming out aggressive, feeling good. On the road. There we go. Bulls got a lead. Another nice defensive play there by Pippen. All right, Pippen got it. He's surveying. He's surveying the floor. You see he got Oliver Miller, slow foot speed. He's going to attack him. Attack him. Attack the rim. Man, got a foul. Look here, you know, slow foot speed. I'll go around him with the left hand. Man, foul. Good move by Pippen. All right, they running that pad and triangle offense. Oh, no good. You're going to see, man, Pippen, for whatever reason, just wasn't confident. Nice move. Wow. All right, first quarter, as we see, they rolling. Jordan got him going, hit a couple threes, jump shot, and, you know, He's kind of putting his teammates at ease, being a good leader, coming out aggressive, and they start the first quarter very strong. That's Jordan drawing the double, triple team. He's going to pass up to BJ for the three. Wow, nice shot there by BJ. All right, next play here. Got Michael Jordan going to the post. Now, people said he never got double team, and he always – had one-on-one -on -one coverage and the zone defense talk and all that stuff. They talk about with modern day. That's a lot. Michael Jordan faced double and triple teams all the time. Baseline, wow. Nice play there. It's going to be a replay here. As you're going to see, I believe that's Barkley coming from the top. And what Michael Jordan is going to do, he's going to spin baseline quickly to avoid the double team and shoot it over the top over KJ. I believe that's KJ. Or oh, that might be Richard Dobbs. Nice shot there. As you see, Michael Jordan coming out very aggressive, strong, attacking, putting his teammates at ease. Hey, follow my lead. Jordan, he driving. Look at that. He got one, two, three, four guys in the paint, stopping them from penetrating. Nice pass here to Tucker. Open for the three. Wow. Nice play by Michael Jordan. Nice shot by Tucker. Oh, fumbling the ball. Uh-oh, Jordan got it. Wham, another three. Thought he couldn't shoot. More narratives, more lies. Michael Jordan couldn't play today. You can't shoot no three. That's a lie. He's starting out on fire. All right, you see Michael Jordan being a good teammate. He's coming up off the ball. He ain't got to pound it or nothing like that. He can let his teammates run the offense. Got John passing with the ball here. Nice play to Tuck. Oh, passing got an open jumper. Wow. Right, here we go. As you see, it's the end of the first quarter. Michael Jordan came out on fire, leading the charge, and his teammates followed him. Nice start to the first quarter, feeling good. Now, second quarter, Michael Jordan going to go to the bench, and you're going to see how the offense just falls apart, you know, without him on the court. You know, people think he had all this on top-notch help. Well, that wasn't really the case. Let's see here. Got Pippen, jump shot, no good. Pippen not feeling good with that jump. Got Stacey King. You see, when the offense don't go through Jordan, look at that. Block shot. Oh, man. Come on, Stacey King. All right, got Scotty Pippen here. Look at that, man. You see what I'm saying? You see what Jordan had to deal with? If he, a lot of times, if he wasn't the offense going through him, you see what happened. The offense falling apart. You know, they had a nice start to the first quarter. Now it's starting to fall apart. You see the Suns, they coming to life. Nice pass by KJ to Tom Chambers. Wow, nice shot. Tom Chambers, very underrated player back then. Multiple time All Star. All right. Come on, man. What's up with Pip? Jordan, you know, uh, Scotty Pippen here. No, that's Horace Grant. I'm sorry. Uh, and you see the offense is sputtering. Jordan not on the floor to facilitate, to get lead the charge. You see what will happen. All right. They run the triangle. Uh, Pippen, 
Now, that's a nice play. That's a nice shot by Scotty P. Got a five-point lead. Oh, pass to Thompson. Oh, nice dunk. Nice play there. All right, here we go. That's Michael Jordan. Now, the tech, the offense, <laughs> the offense has been struggling, so they have to get him the ball to initiate any type of offense. He got fouled. But you see the kind of burden and load that Michael Jordan had to carry. Now, you see the lead is gone because the offense has been sputtering. Come on, man, shoot the ball. Jordan in the post. You see he's drawing the double team. Oh, nice pass to Scott Williams. Scott Williams got fouled. But you see Michael Jordan had to create that for his teammate by drawing the double team because the offense has been sputtering. All right, they're going in the post there to Horace Grant. Oh, oh man, like what? <laughs> like what kind of offense is that, man? You see what I'm saying? This is what Michael Jordan had to deal with. You know, you see the game is tied. All right, they, they looking to go to Michael Jordan here in the post. They running that triangle. Like, come on, Scott. Look at Scotty. Scotty, no confidence in his jump shot. He had any kind of confidence. He just pull up and shoot. No confidence. Michael Jordan spin baseline, got fouled. You see the type of pressure and stuff that Jordan had to deal with. It's a nice move. Oh, he almost hooked, but he was smart not to hook that left arm. Went up for the foul. Shoot the free throws. You know what I mean? All right, Pippen again. No confidence. I think he's going to pull up. Okay, he pulled up. Air ball. No confidence in that jump shot. Got an open jumper right there. Shoot it. No confidence. Oh, okay, he's attacking the basket. Nice move by Scott. That was a nice move. Open shot, still no confidence. But nice move by Scotty. And that's that's the end of the uh, first half. As you see, though, the offense was sputtering. Now, this is going to show the percentage of the Bulls' offense that's going through Michael Jordan. The load he had to carry. Look at that. 31%, 38%, 36%, 50% of the, of the offense through one man. In order for them to win, that's the 55-point game. And 42%. That's crazy, man. Okay, and as we see, this game is 29%. It's a little bit lower because of BJ hit a few threes. But you see the kind of load that Michael Jordan had to carry in this NBA Finals just for his team to have a chance to win. This is all-time carrying, man. 16 points. All right, we're going to start out the third quarter here. All right, they going to the post, Michael Jordan. This is a nice play here. Uh, nice shot there. I talk, oh, I showed that play there because they called an offensive foul on Charles Barkley. Now, you know, nowadays, with guys like LeBron and other guys, they're allowed to put their shoulder into the guy's chest and push off, and it's no foul. As you seen back then, they called it. Oh. Pippen, no confidence in the jumper. Pull up, shoot, bro. Okay, now he, he did make that. Come on now, bro. All right. Got Michael Jordan in the post. Look at all the eyes and the attention looking at one guy. But he had all his freedom. That's what everybody said. Look at that. Three guys on him. Three guys on Michael Jordan in the post. Three. Nice pass to BJ. Open three. Wow. Good. Great shot. EJ was underrated, man. Like, what is that, man? And Scott Williams. Look at that. Scotty Pippen, wide open. That's what I told y'all. No confidence in this jump. Shoot. He go past. Oh, okay. Well, it ended up in the five, but you see Scotty Pippen, no confidence. All right, he got the Pippen in the post. Turn baseline from the double team. That's a nice move there by Scotty Pippen. Feeling good. You see, got a hand on his back, the hand checking and all that. Man, nice play by Pippen. That's BJ. Nice gear. Wow, nice shot. Third quarter offense looking a little bit better than the second quarter. All right, got Pippen in the post again. Nice move. I think that was KJ. Yeah, too little. Got him. Michael Jordan with the rebound. 
He's surveying the court, looking to his right, to his left. Looking. Nice pass there to John Paxson. Wow. Nice shot by John Paxson. Scotty Pippen the rebound next possession. He gonna look for BJ. BJ wide open. Wow. Uh oh. Now the offense is clicking. They rolling. They feel a little bit better. They got confidence. Two big threes by BJ. Much better quarter. Uh oh. Scotty driving. Feeling better. Oh, nice move. Oh man. I'm feeling good now. Give me the ball, man. I got confidence. I'm feeling good. All right, you see the Bulls got a nice quarter here. Run that track. Let's see. They're like they're looking for Jordan there in the post. Jordan, look at that. Join the double team. All eyes on Jordan. Double. Pass it back out. Repost. Wow. Nice, nice play there by Michael Jordan. He drew the double, kicked it out, repost, threw it back in. Nice play there. End of the quarter. Look at that. That's two guys right there on him. You got three, four guys looking at Michael Jordan. You got two teammates open. Pass to Tucker. Tucker, a nice pump fake. Wow. Nice end to the third quarter. The offense is clicking. Feeling good. Nice rhythm. They got a uh, eight-point lead. Now, this is the big quarter here. What's going to happen here in the fourth quarter? Is the nerves going to come through? Or is the team going to execute? All right. So here we go. They run the triangle. They go into the post. Horace Grant. Shoot the ball, man. Got Pippen. Shot clock running down. Come on, Pippen. Oh, everybody. Oh, man. Oh, man. Here we go. Bad possession to start the quarter. Next possession here. Let's go, man. They're going to throw it in to uh, Cartwright. They're looking at him in the post. You got Barkley to vent. Oh, Barkley pulled the chair. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, man, you see? This is what Jordan had to deal with, man. Oh, man, come on now. All right, just a couple bad possessions. Got to get the offense rolling. Come on, Pippen. Do something, bro. What you going to do? You back in the post. Oh, no good. Oh, man, here we go. These four-quarter blues, Pippen. All right, got Charles Barkley here. They gaining some momentum. Oh, man. Oh, man, here we go. They feeling good. The offense is now sputtering. Michael Jordan hadn't really touched it. And, and the Phoenix Suns, they getting back in the game. Look at the replay. Charles the double. Kicked it out. Richard Dumas. Good. Nice play. Getting fired up. Okay, here we go. Man, offense is sputtering. What are we going to do? Come on, Scotty. Come on now. Look at him. No confidence in the jump. He could have pulled up for the three. Offense, they looking crazy. Shot clock running down. Oh, oh man, shoot the fire. Oh, man. And see, here we go again. Scotty Pippen and his second unit and Michael Jordan teammates are disappearing. They failing. The offense is now sputtering in the fourth quarter. Phoenix Suns picking up energy. They rolling. The lead is disappearing. You got Scotty here. Could not get the shot off. Come on, man. This is what Jordan had to deal with. You see the lead is disappearing. It's going down. It's down to three now. All right. Come on now. You see the, the, the offense not fluid. You know, energy in the building is picking up. They pass the packs. And trying to generate some. Oh man, it's not looking good. That's BJ, the Horace. Oh, no good. Oh man. And oh boy, it's out of bounds. As you see, the offense is now sputtering. Michael Jordan teammates are now feeling the pressure. Three or four bad possessions to start the quarter. The lead is disappearing. And oh boy, they got Jordan on the bench. And he's looking like, damn, <laughs> Bill Jackson have to bring Michael Jordan back in because the offense is sputtering. All right, here we go. Let's see if they're going to run a better set this time. Scott. Oh, no. Scotty threw it away. <laughs> oh, my God. Scotty Pippen panicking again. Oh, my God. 
Yes, panic. Panic has set in. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my God. Scotty Pippen, oh, man, he just threw the ball away. But see, this is what I'm talking about, people. This is what Scotty Pippen did. He would disappear in high pressure moments in the fourth quarter. <laughs> oh, look at that. It's 0 for 7 to start off the quarter. All right. They got Michael Jordan. He got all this pressure trying to generate some kind of offense. Look at it. Oh, he dry. Oh, he got fire. He got bumped. Let's look at the replay. Damn, Marley. Yeah, clearly with a fire. Man. All right. And you see the offense is sputtering. No confidence. Scotty Pippen. Oh, no good. You see what I'm saying? This is what Michael Jordan had to deal with. The offense is now completely out of sync. His teammates are failing him, and they're disappearing now in the fourth quarter. Here we go. Jordan, nice play. Pass to Horse Grant. Oh, Horse Grant. With the <laughs> he completely missed the rim. Oh, my God. Jordan. Shot clock running down. What are you going to do? Oh, man. Yeah, the attack just to generate any kind of offense. Nobody has scored a shot. Nobody's made a shot yet in the quarter. The lead is disappearing. This whole quarter is starting out to be a nightmare. Oh, man. And look at this play. Replay. A nice pass to Horace. And he just blew the layup. Lost the ball completely. Oh, my God. Oh, boy. All right. Phoenix got the ball. Charles. Nice head fake. Oh, man. He rolling. He feeling good. Oh, man. The crowd getting into it and stuff like that. Oh, man. Here we go. Now, look at it. They've gone on uh, six minutes, half of the fourth quarter. Nobody has scored a basket. Michael Jordan made one out of two free throws on that foul. And the lead is gone. The crowd is getting into it. They championship dreams is going down the drain. Here we go. Got Michael Jordan with the ball. He drive. Oh, big time shot there by Michael Jordan. Clutch shot. L by two. Here we go. They come and set the pick for KJ. KJ drive. Oh, no, Scotty Pippen, you left the one guy open. You can't leave him. Oh, no, <laughs> Scotty Pippen. Oh, man, he went to help in the lane and left Dan Marley. Oh, my God. Now the lead is gone. They got the lead. Here we go, Michael Jordan, with all this pressure. Nobody scored a shot. He's made one shot and one free throw. The lead is gone. Phoenix got the lead. Let's see what Michael Jordan can do. Michael Jordan was, oh, jab. Good, oh man, Michael Jordan, clutch, all time pressure shot by Michael Jordan, clutch shot there. All right, running out, John Paxson fumbling the ball. Like, come on, man, what y'all doing? Come on, Scotty, you doing all that front run? All right, they got the ball of Jordan in the post. Let's see what he gonna do. Turn. Oh, he lost it. Oh, shot. He passed the Pippen. Pippen. Oh no, Pippen! <laughs> Pippen scared to shoot. Michael Jordan was like, "Come on, man, shoot the ball!" Oh my God! Oh man! Now panic has set in. Scotty Pippen, look at this play. He get tipped. He gonna pass the Pippen over here. Pippen, Pippen got the shot right there. Pippen is looking to pass it right back. He's too scared to shoot. <laughs> The pressure and panic has got to Scottie Pippen again. Oh, my God. He passed right back to Joe. <laughs> Joe got two guys. Oh, shoot the ball, man. Oh, man. Now the lead is gone. The crowd is getting into it, and here we go. Charles got the ball. Drew the double. Uh-oh. Pass it out to KJ. KJ the nice. Uh oh, man. Oh, man. The crowd is getting into it. Man, oh man, and the Bulls offense has collapsed itself with Michael Jordan. But you see what he had to deal with. Oh man, nice play. All right, here we go. Oh man, Michael Jordan, can you bail us out again? As Michael getting double, Scott is wide open. You pass it back to BJ. All right, going to Jordan in the post. Turn, good. Oh man, Michael Jordan again. You see. All time clutch pressure shots. Down by four, a couple minutes left. His teammates have failed him. 
Clutch shot by Michael Jordan. All time pressure shot. Let's look at the replay. He turned baseline. He did many times early in the game. Good. Clutch, clutch. All time pressure shot. But you see the kind of low. You see what Michael Jordan had to deal with dealing with these teammates. All right. That's what's going on. offense again. Come on, man. What y'all doing? Nobody's looking confident. Shot clock running down again. Come on. Look at it. Oh, my God. Shot clock. Oh. <laughs> Panic has set in. Oh, no, man. Look at that. Charles fired up. Panic has set in. All of Michael Jordan teammates have failed him and disappeared. Nobody has scored a shot, a basket, nothing except Michael Jordan. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, that's Paul West for you, man. They all fired up. Oh, man, look at Charles. Charles getting into Scottie Pippen. Scottie Pippen panicking. He telling them, you ain't going to win this. Oh, man. Talking trash. Oh, man. Now, here we go. Four-point lead. Charles now got a chance to put the game away right here. Let's see what happens. Charles go to the post. He turn. He shot. Oh, no, he missed it. Oh, offensive foul. Oh, man. Look at this. Oh, oh, man, so close. You see, oh, that close to putting the lead up to six, and he blew it. Oh, look at that. The Bulls have scored seven points in the quarter, all by Michael Jordan. Nobody else has scored a basket, not a shot. Oh, my God. Here we go, Michael Jordan. Can he say it today? Oh, oh, no good. Oh, no. He missed. Oh my God. Season might be going to a game seven. Uh oh, here we go. Shot clock running down. Oh, Thunder Dan. Now, yes, look at this play. Scotty Pippen right there does not box out. He does not box out Charles Barkley. Yes, and see, look at what happened. Oh, man. Charles Barkley gets the rebound. You seen there on that play. Because Scottie Pippen was not fundamentally sound on boxing out, Charles Barkley, yes, Charles Barkley is one of the great rebounders of all time, but you must stay between him and the basket. It's a minute left, season on the line, possibly game seven. You cannot miss that box out. Oh, my God. Let's look at it a different angle. Dan Wally with a long three. Go up. Oh, ah, that close. You see how close, that close from a seven-point lead. And you see Scotty Pippen there did not box Charles Barkley out. He let him get in there and get that offensive rebound. Bad, bad play. Bad mistake by Scotty Pippen. Scotty Pippen been panicking this whole full court. Now, I want y'all to look at this play here coming up. This is an all-time culture mistake by Paul Westphal. He put in Frank Johnson here. Frank Johnson was a non-shooter. And as the play unfolds, you're going to see how this is a huge coaching blunder that cost the Phoenix Suns. They could have went to a game set. Let's roll. And you see Michael Jordan right there. He's going to be guarding Frank Johnson. And you're going to see him cheat. Now watch as this play unfold here. Now they got a four-point lead. But he put out Frank Johnson out there who was a non-shooter. They got a chance to put this game away and go to a game seven on your home floor. Look, Michael Jordan came to help, you know, cut off the lane from Danny Ainge. Frank Johnson at the three-point line. He is wide open. But Michael Jordan knows that Frank Johnson is not a shooter. An all-time coaching blunt. Look at him. Wide open. Miss. And you see, he gave the Bulls life. All-time coaching blunder. You cannot put Frank Johnson in the game who is a non-shooter. Michael Jordan with the rebound. He looking to go up court. He look, he's surveying the defense. He see he got an opening. He look, oh, nobody's cutting him off. Good. Big-time shot there. Look at the replay. No one's looking. Michael Jordan come down. Clutch layup here by Michael Jordan. Clutch. You know, having the presence of mind to grab the rebound, turn, and as you're dribbling up, surveying, looking at the defense to see, is there any kind of opening and attack? 
great, great play there by Michael Jordan to give his team life. Clutch layup, big time. Now, look at this play here. Look at Frank Johnson. Look at Michael Jordan again. Coaching blunder. Look, Frank Johnson, not even looking to shoot. He wide open, but he's not a shooter. And it's through their offense here. They had a chance to put the game away. Damn, Marley. Oh, no good. But you see what happened. That coaching blunder by Paul Westfall, he should not have Frank Johnson in the game. And what happened is it threw the offense out of rhythm because Frank Johnson was not a threat to shoot. Bad, bad coaching move. Now, look at that. Charles Barkley, he, you know, talking noise to Scotty Pippen. He worried about getting the Scotty Pippen here. But I'm going to show you something. Where Charles Barkley made a huge mistake on this last play. He worried about, look at that. Nine points in the fourth quarter. That's it. Then the only person to score was Michael Jordan. Nobody else on the team has made a shot. And this is what Michael Jordan had to deal with. Oh, man. All right. You know, you know how the play went down. They gave it to Jordan behind the back. Pippen. Oh, he turned. Horace Grant. Oh, no. Nah, nah. <laughs> you going to leave John Paxson? Y'all don't know what John Paxson did in the past? Like, come on, man. Oh, no. Oh, big time shot. And the Bulls take the lead. Oh, man. Now, I'm going to replay this last play. And as it unfolds, I want y'all to take a look at Charles Barkley. He worried about talking and getting into Scottie Pippen's ear. I want y'all to see what's going to happen here on this play. Look. Look at that. Charles Barkley. Out of position defensively, not being fundamentally sound defense. And look what happened. Because he misplayed this on defense, Scotty Pippen got free, and Mark West and Danny Ainge had to come help. All-time blunder there by Charles Barkley. He worried about getting in Scotty Pippen's head instead of being fundamentally sound defensively. See, Charles Barkley, as great as he was, he was one guy during that era that did not take defense seriously, and it cost him an all-time mistake by Charles Barkley. You know what I'm saying? All-time. You see the play unfold, the Horace Grant, the John Paxson, open for the three. Bam. And you see, because Charles Barkley was not fundamentally sound and got beat defensively, this is what happened. It cost him a game seven. All he has to do is stay between Scottie Pippen and the rim and make Scottie Pippen shoot a jump shot. As I showed y'all, Scottie Pippen had no confidence in his jump all game. He made a few, but no confidence. But because he gambled and messed up defensively and did not listen to his coaches and did not take defense seriously, it cost him. And I'm telling y'all, this is why us older fans, we try to tell you younger fans, defense and fundamentals matter. It matters in the game. If you're young and you're playing basketball, listen to your coaches. It could cost you. You might not make it to the NBA. You might be in a playoff situation with your high school team or whatever, and you miss a free throw. You don't box out. You don't be fundamentally sound defensively, and it could cost you a game. It could cost you a playoff game. It could cost you a state championship. And in this situation, it cost Charles Barkley a chance at the championship. He made the ultimate mistake, and the whole defense broke down because he messed up. And no one talks about that. So, the end is, you see the kind of load that Michael Jordan had to carry. A record 41 points a game. 41. I showed y'all the percentage of the offense that was running through him. All-time heavy workload. You know, I don't know what the deal is with Scottie Pippen and the horse grind and stuff like that, but they wrong for what they doing in today's time. They need to make peace with that with Michael Jordan, man. Michael Jordan was a great teammate. A great, great teammate. I don't understand what the issue is, man. But 
Michael Jordan had to carry the ultimate load if he does not score those nine crucial points in that fourth quarter. The Bulls are doomed and done. It could have been a nightmare instead of a historic three-peat celebration. And you see what Michael Jordan had to deal with, his teammates and Scottie Pippen especially. In these high-pressure moments, he disappeared all the time. In this game, where Scottie Pippen in the fourth quarter scored zero points. Zero. (laughs) And he did this routinely. But guess what? We never heard about it. Why? Because Michael Jordan was the ultimate leader and a great teammate. He never went public and said anything bad about his teammates in the media. Ever. He always spoke highly of John Paxson. He appreciated the shot he made. He always spoke highly of Scottie Pippen, Horace Grant. He spoke highly of all his teammates in public. Now, yeah, he might have got on their ass in practice. And I'm not saying Michael Jordan perfect. But in the media, he never trashed his teammate. And as I just showed y'all, in the fourth quarter, everybody disappeared until John Paxson made that last shot. Michael Jordan, this is why I say he is by far the greatest player to ever live. He was a great leader. He was a great teammate. Don't listen to the bullshit-ass narratives that the modern-day media are telling y'all. Michael Jordan was the ultimate competitor, a great leader, and a great, great teammate, despite what the, you know, the media says today. A record. 41 points a game. That is a great teammate. And he never trashed none of his teammates in the media. We never heard about it. Never. Michael Jordan, the greatest player that ever lived. It's not even close. Salute to y'all, man. Have fun. I'll catch y'all in the next video, man.